We are at the scene of yet another architectural gem today. Um, I just pulled into this little street on catching sight of these interesting buildings behind me, so I'm going to cycle around them and take a look. Um, the buildings next to them are much more modern, but equally ugly, so I don't know whether there is any improvement been made. Um, probably they're better insulated, but that's about it, because they are equally just as gross. Um, this seems to be uh, a thing, in, at least in London, and I think probably in a lot of the UK as well, of um, housing estates from the 60s and 70s being really ugly, like mind-bogglingly grim. I can't help but wonder what they had in their mind when they were designing these things. You know, I don't know who's supposed to grow up in a place like that and um, and end up doing well. Um, there are some other interesting ones around behind me, um, different decade, and the ones on the other side, this is just as ugly, but uh, they're new. Anyway, I'm going to go and explore this one behind me here. It goes down there, and in fact, it's adjacent to that one that I was at the other day. You see that building there in the background, this one? That was one of the buildings in the video that I did about a week ago um, with all the empty, dead playground areas and stuff like that. So this whole area is full of gross, grim, morbid, grey, dead places, which is just awesome because uh, who doesn't like that? So. Um, the one directly opposite me, though, is kind of interesting. It's a little less gross. That one there behind me now. Anyway, I'm going to um, take a look around, see what I find. Maybe even find, like, a dead hooker rolled up in a carpet or, like, a suitcase with a severed head in it or something like that. Maybe a burnt-out car or some dead junkies or something. Anyway, wish me luck. Thanks for watching.